Hi guys and welcome. Today's video is going to be ever so slightly different. I've just received a parcel and I'm really excited to show you so I thought I might as well show you as I opened it. This is something that I have wanted for a while now. This is the Red Iguana Posable Hand. So together we're going to have a quick look and see how freaky it really is and then I'll talk to you a little bit more about it. So the packaging is actually really beautiful. It's actually a lot heavier than I expected. Oh, it's like a pass the parcel. And there she is. Oh, it is a bit freaky, isn't it? It reminds me of that hand from the Adams family. So this is the posable version and I've chosen Skin Tone April. I chose this because I was hoping it'd be the nearest to mine. Um, but I'm a bit red and a funny colour, so. Lovely long slim nails, or rather nail beds, sorry, and fingers. Much nicer than my dumpy red funny coloured hands. So yes, I can pose her, I can move them all about. So as I've mentioned, this is the Skin Tone April. It actually comes in six different tones. You can have left or right, and you can have the posable version like this, or you can have the version, I haven't seen it myself in person, but my understanding is that it's, the fingers come straight out and then they, they don't really move. Whereas with this, you can practice this as if it's actually a client, you can turn, actually that turns really well. You can turn, you can obviously bend, you can bend them away. Some people choose to glue the tips into here, but they do fit quite nicely. And if you get the right ones, my understanding is that they'll push in and then you'll have a nice balance there. But if you do choose to glue them in, you can actually soak this in acetone, which would melt those off, and then it would cause no damage. Should you ever cause any damage, I don't know, with a file, for example, the website does actually come with instructions on how to repair, which I thought was brilliant. So fingers crossed I won't, but as you can see, try and get a close up, if not I'll get pictures for you later. It's very realistic with the cuticles, so it's perfect for practicing your nail art, make sure you don't get it on the skin, or your enhancements. And with the, with the tips, because they slide so nicely in and, and a bit further up, you can create your enhancement and then bring it down and do an infill if need be. So let me try and put some tips in that I already made for myself and we'll have a quick look at what it looks like. So these won't fit perfectly because they weren't designed for this, but let's give ourselves some ideas. So I will be mainly using this for taking pictures of these tips, for example, or any bits of nail art that I've learnt, because I don't have the best hands. I'm certainly not a nail model or a hand model. And with the right tips, it looks quite realistic. And hopefully in pictures, it will sort of trick the eye. I'm really excited actually to give it a try. So if anybody else has one of these, let me know if you've got any tips on using it or the one thing I am thinking the most about is if it does get damaged. I know that I can wash all of this fluff off with just soapy water, but any tips, let me know. And if you want to see anything on here, then just, yeah, drop me a comment. I'm going to play. See you soon. <laughs> <laughs> 